Welcome to this Seller Cloud tutorial on how to create WFS shipment plans. Once you've successfully integrated WFS into Seller Cloud and prepared your products, the next step is to create a WFS shipment to send your products to Walmart. WFS shipment plans play a crucial role in ensuring that your inventory remains well stocked within Walmart's fulfillment centers, ultimately facilitating efficient order fulfillment. There are several ways to create a WFS shipment plan. Option 1, from the WFS shipment plan section. Option 2, from the Manage Catalog page. Option 3, by linking a purchase order, PO. Now, let's dive into the first two options. To create a new WFS shipment plan from the WFS shipment plan section, you'll need to first go to Inventory, WFS shipment plans, and click Create new WFS shipment plan. Specify the shipment details. Select the company with products to ship and the description name which typically is a date. Then choose the warehouse from which you'll ship. Make sure the Allow to use quantity for FBA and WFS shipments checkbox is enabled for this warehouse on its details page. Select the warehouse for inventory and transit. Choose the WFS warehouse. Check the Use Inventory Transfer Service box if you want to use the Inventory Transfer Service ITS, for inventory allocation. Click the Next Step arrow icon to proceed. In the next step, you can either select products manually or upload them from a file. Remember, the inventory you add will be reserved for the shipment automatically and will not be available for sale until it arrives at a Walmart fulfillment center. Note that products also must be WFS enabled for you to be able to add them to a shipment. If you choose to select products manually click the Add Products icon. Search for products by name or SKU. Use filters to narrow down results. Check the boxes next to the products you want to add. Enter the quantity to ship for each product then click Add and Close. After adding products, click the Submit Shipment to WFS flag icon. If you prefer to upload products from a file, on the Add Products section click the Upload Products icon. Download the spreadsheet template provided, which includes columns for the item you want to add. Fill out the template and save it. Upload the saved template and click Upload. After adding products, click the Submit Shipment to WFS flag icon. Confirm by clicking Yes, Submit. You can also import a WFS shipment plan directly from Walmart. Go to Inventory, WFS Shipment Plans, and click Import WFS Shipment. Specify the shipment details as mentioned in the previous section. Enter the shipment ID, which is the Walmart Marketplace shipment ID, and click the next step arrow icon to proceed. Complete the next steps to confirm details and finish importing the shipment. Another way to add products to a WFS shipment is from the Manage Catalog page. In Catalog, go to Manage Catalog, click Add Filter, and add the Walmart Marketplace Statuses filter. Select WFS enabled under Walmart Marketplace Statuses. Only WFS enabled products can be added to a shipment. Search for products and check the boxes next to the SKUs you want to add. Click the blue actions icon on the bottom right and select Add to WFS Shipment. Enter the quantity to ship and click Next. Remember, this inventory will be reserved for the shipment automatically. Then, you'll need to choose to add products to an existing shipment or create a new one. If adding products to an existing shipment, select the shipment. Choose whether to skip duplicate products or increase the quantity of duplicate products. Click Add, and you'll receive a notification confirming the addition. If creating a new shipment, select the warehouse to ship from. In the Shipment Name field, enter a name for the shipment plan, usually a date. Click Add, and you'll receive a notification confirming the addition, along with a link to the new shipment plan. For how to link PO to a shipment plan and vice versa you can see in the next video of this series. Thanks for watching.